Bam. Okay. So welcome to another Very day. Very abrupt. Puzzle time. Well, that, that believe it or not, that was not Shostakovich that ended it like that. That was Math Pickle and MoMath that ended it like that. Not authentic. So welcome to another day, uh, Puzzle Time with MoMath and Math Pickle. Today, uh, if you were here yesterday, you saw that we dealt with a circle and uh, I was inspired. I thought, okay, we need to do this again for something different. And so this, this puzzle is gonna be called Centrifuge and you don't get to choose the numbers. So I'm giving you the numbers in two rings. If you know a centrifuge, uh, you can put uh, blood into it and it separates out the red blood cells from the rest of the blood plasma by whirling it around really fast. So that was the, that was the uh, excitement uh, that, that uh, triggered this puzzle. Okay, so how do you, what, what input do you have? The only input that you have in this puzzle is to decide if each of these is negative or positive. Okay, so I could put a minus two here, for example. I could, and then I have to put a minus two on the outside. I could put a minus three here and a minus three here. Um, so I, I can uh, choose uh, any number of these uh, minuses and pluses. Now, how do I decide if that's good or not? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be multiplying the middle the inner ring by the outer ring. So this is one times one is one, minus two times minus two is four, minus three times minus three is nine, four times four is 16. So this is the um, only um, one where it doesn't matter what, what uh, if you're, if you're na naming them positive or negatives, it doesn't matter. It's um, always gonna be one squared, two squared, three squared, four squared, all the way around. And we're gonna deal with bigger circles, zero squared, one squared, two squared, three squared, four squared, five squared, and that's um, not going to matter. What? Lord. It, yes. Uh, what are we doing? I was just explaining that. Oh. That's why I'm here is to explain puzzles. <laughs> and then you can do puzzles. Yes. Yes. So, um, the only one that we're not interested in, the only rotation that we're not interested in, is this one that everything is lined up zero to zero, one to one. That's the only one we're not interested in. We are interested, uh, let me just expand this up a little bit. Okay. We are interested in all of the other rotations. So this one here, we're interested in this. So in this case, we have zero times one. Uh, let me actually just write that down over, uh, where should I put it? Nope, that's not what I wanted. Cancel that. Uh, where do I um, add? Oh, there's a text box. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a text box here and I'm gonna make it a white uh, lettering. Uh, here we go. No, I don't care about that. I do care about the color. Okay, there we go, white. So um, first of all, zero times one is zero. One times minus two is minus two minus two times minus three, that is plus six, minus three times four, that is minus 12, zero times four, that is zero. So my score for this one is, what is it? That's minus 12 plus six, that's minus six, minus two is minus eight. So my score is, doesn't matter the direction, positive or negative, my score is just eight. And we're trying to make that um, score. Uh, one person is trying to make that score small. One person is trying to make that sco score big. The person who is putting in the negatives and positives, they're trying to make this score as small as possible. The other person who's rotating this is trying to make this as big as possible. So that's a little bit confusing. So we're gonna actually play it right now. So I am going to have Nathan, um, I'm going to have you suggest uh, um, you're you're trying to make this number big, okay? So okay. how far would you like me to rotate it? I could rotate it to here. I could rotate mm -hmm. it. I could rotate it to here. 
or I could rotate it to here. Those are your options. Where, where would you like me to rotate it? Um, I'll turn it to, turn it counterclockwise a little bit. Okay, here we go. Counterclockwise this way to here. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so let, let's, uh, let's calculate. So this one, um, this one was just a little turn and it got that. Let's now calculate this bigger turn. In fact, maybe I'll make this a new slide. That's what I'll do. There we go. Okay. So it's a brand new slide. And starting here, zero times minus two, Nathan, is what? Zero. Zero. Minus three times one, Nathan, is what? That'll be minus three. Minus three, zero minus three. Four times minus two is what? Minus eight. Minus eight. Zero That's times minus zero. three is what? That's plus zero. That's plus zero. Four times one is what? Plus five. Four times one. Four times oh, one. Plus four. Plus four, yes. Sorry. Okay. So we have minus three minus eight. That is minus 11. Minus 11. Plus four so that is be, that would be minus seven. So that minus seven. seven. So that, that's a score of seven, which is not as good as our previous score. So our previous score, from your point of view, Nathan, you are on the team. You are on the team that is trying to make this uh, make this uh, number as big as possible. Okay. Okay. So you you um, th this was not a good rotation. Uh, can I have another? Annika, um, hello, welcome to Puzzle Time. Um, if you want to, what, what we do on Puzzle Time for new people is that you have to say why you eat pickles for breakfast and why pickles are your favorite food of all time. So if you like um, pickles, Annika, if you don't no, like no, pickles. No, no, we know that Annika likes pickles because she came here. So Annika, what, why do you eat pickles for breakfast and why are they your favorite food of all time? My mom and dad don't buy them often, but I like them. <laughs> Good. Um, so, Annika, how would you like to rotate? Uh, Nathan rotated it all the way to here. You, there's two places we haven't tried yet. There's here and there's over here. Which one would you like? To I think try? I'll go with this one. This one, okay. So let's get rid of this. Oh, I'm gonna make a new diagram. Okay. And in fact, maybe I should put this one back again. So I, I've made separate slides here. So I think this was Nathan's, right. And now this one is gonna be yours. And I'm gonna erase all of this. Okay. So zero times minus three, Annika. Um, that's positive three, See I think. Yeah, zero, zero times, oh, um, zero times anything. Zero? Yeah, zero times anything is zero. Um, four times one, Annika. Five. Four positive times, five. multiply, multiply, multiply. Oh, positive four. Yeah, 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 plus four. Um, uh, zero times minus two, zero positive. times anything is zero. So minus three times one. So that's just one times minus three. That's just going to be equal to minus three and four times minus two. Negative two. My, four times minus two. So that's four times. So that's minus two Negative once. Eight. So you owe me $2. You owe me $2. Now you owe me $2 four times. So you owe me $2 once, twice, three, oh, four negative times. Eight. You owe me $8. Yeah, minus eight. Okay. And this looks like it's the exact same score as before with Nathan. So this one looks like the same thing as score of uh, seven. So if you add all of that up, it's minus seven. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So it's the exact same, even though it was a different rotation, it turned out to weird. be the same. Weird. Weird, very weird. So we've got this rotation, we've had this rotation, and we've had this rotation, and we've only got one last one to try. Um, and that is, I, I actually forget which one it is. Is it, is it this one? Uh, avocado cream, Europe. Uh, is it, is it this, this one? one? 
Yeah, no, the minus is disappeared. Oh wait, wait, wait! I did the wrong. I did the wrong one. That, that was the wrong, wrong puzzle. There we go. Okay. So, uh, is it? The, is this the one Nathan did, or this isn't the one Nathan did? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't. Okay, let, let's look at. Um, so this is the four. first. Okay. Um, so this is the this is the one this is the first one that happened. Then this one. So the zero was over on this side, and then the next one, the zero was down here, and then zero was over there. So yeah, the one that we haven't tried yet is exactly right. This one here with the zero over here. So yeah. avocado cream, go ahead. Let's let's do it. So okay. one times zero avocado cream. One times zero. That would be, okay, one times zero would be zero, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one times minus two? One times, one times minus two. Yeah, is minus two. It's just one times anything is itself. So one times yeah. minus two is itself minus two. Minus two times minus this three. This will give us a good score. Uh, um, plus six. Oscar, it's my turn. <laughs> plus six. Minus two times minus three is plus six. Minus three times four avocado cream. Any ideas for mm. minus three times four? Minus three. That would be. You owe me three dollars once, twice, three times, four times. How much do you owe me? I owe you three, six. 12. Yep, minus 12. And zero times four avocado cream? Zero times four would be zero because zero times anything, zero times okay. like anything would be yep. zero. Yep. Okay, so tell me what uh, what this is. Zero minus two plus six minus 12 plus zero. Uh, that is, let's see, minus two plus six. That's plus four, minus 12. Four minus 12 is-, is That's negative eight. Yeah, minus eight. And so the score is eight. Okay, so uh, that's kind of interesting. We, we've got uh, this one and this one have a score of eight, those two. And then this one and this one have got a score of seven. Okay. But uh, so uh, the per people who won, I guess avocado cream, you won by one point, okay? Uh, but that's not a significant win, but it's, it's a, you eat out a win. You got the, you got the highest number. It's but a of win. course, that's only a win half. Is a win. Yeah, but that's only half of the, of the puzzle. The other half of the puzzle is that everybody else here wants to try to stop you guys, um, Annika and Nathan and... Uh, salt, salt, uh, and um, avocado cream. They want to stop you guys from getting a high score. So everyone else wants to try to figure out um, how to add these numbers at the start, how to add these pluses and minuses, so that it's impossible for you guys to, no matter how you rotate it, it's impossible for you guys to make a high score. Add a theorem or like a strategy. We don't want them all to be minuses. Because that way, all of the um, all of them will be uh, positive, and we don't want all of them to be uh, positive numbers because that'll make them all positive. So we should make approximately half negative. The bigger the number, the better if it's negative, and half positive. So we'll call that the taco cat idea that about half of them should be positive. To have a plus a times minus and get minuses. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Gabby, it's uh, it's your turn, and you're on the team that is trying to stop people from scoring high. So the only thing that you can do is you can change these to positives and negatives going around. Okay. So Taco Cat thinks that it should be about 
50-50, about half of them positive, half of them negative. But you don't have to follow that advice. You can choose any combination here that you want. What would you, what would you guess? Um, I would do minus four. Uh, minus four. Okay, so I'm putting minus four. And any other minuses that you want? Do you want me to remove the minus three? Two. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, two, maybe. Minus two. And, and do you want me to remove the minus three, Gabby, or keep it? May I change my strategy? Never. Okay, okay, change it. Because <laughs> if we have three negative numbers, then we'll have a negative times a negative. So we should have three positive numbers uh, and two negative numbers. One of the um, positive numbers. I mean, if okay, there's well, zero, well, then... So we're going to... We'll, we'll get into the theory later. At the moment, we're still kind of just exploring. Um, and uh, I'm going to change the background color because this is Gabby's... So Gabby, you're happy with this? Yeah, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the background color. Um, that's how we indicate that we've got a new big puzzle here. So uh, Gabby, you get to choose the color that we, we have a, uh, let's see, here we go. And the color is any background color you want. I've got all these options for you. It's, it's not critical, but it's, got, it's just kind of a silly thing to, um, it looks like so, it looks like she circled the blue at the very t at the top. Oh, oh, this one. Okay. No, not that one. The other oh. one. The other blue. Oh, this one. Okay. Yeah, oh. that one. Yeah, I think she circled that one. Good, good, good. Oh yeah, okay. that's not that bad for color. Okay, you can. Yeah. Uh, so you can erase um, now I'm going to uh, have Amelia. Amelia, if you want to jump in here, so you're on the team that is trying to make a, the, this, uh, this number now as high as possible, okay? So Gabby has created a, a centrifuge here and you're trying to rotate it and you can rotate it as much as you like to try to make that number as big as possible. So um, go ahead and tell me how you would like me to rotate it. I can't, I can't leave it here. That's the only rule. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so you can just tell me when to stop. So it's multiplication that we're using to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you can tell me when to stop. So I'm I'm one step around now. So now I'm moving and I'm two steps around and three steps and four steps. So I'm trying to get it high or low? Hi, 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 hi. Gabby's trying to get it low. Gabby made the um, one minus two, minus three, minus four. That's Gabby. Okay, you're trying to do the opposite. You're trying to make it high, the number. Um. Uh, can you make it so that um, the minus four is where the one is? The minus fours go where? Um, where the one is. Minus four when the one is, yes. And I think that will do it there. So this is going to be minus four times one. Good. Okay. So, uh, Amelia, zero times minus three. Zero times minus three. Oh, that's just going to be zero. Um, one times minus four, Amelia, go ahead. Um, that'd be minus four. Yeah. Zero times minus two. Zero. Yeah. One times minus three. Um, minus three. Yeah. Minus two times minus four. Um, minus eight. Um, actually, whenever you've got the, the two negatives here, it turns out to be positive eight. So it's going to be plus eight here. I've never done multiplication with the negative numbers. So. Yeah. Okay. So this, this is kind of a, a practice uh, a, a, or an introduction. 
whenever you have two negatives, um, uh, you're, you're going to end up with a positive. So minus two times it. minus four, it, uh, it's going to be plus eight. Yeah. So what do we have here? You have got a score of minus three. You've got a score of plus one. Okay. So wow. you got That's a really, good. really low score. You, you were trying to do it, it high, but because you're new to uh, um, learning about um, multiplying negative numbers together, you ended up with a really low, a really low score. Okay. Which doesn't help you out, but it helps. It helped Gabby. Out. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go back again to this one. But this is a great way to learn about uh, to learn about negative multiplication, multiplication of negative numbers. Um, who else would like to try? Uh, Seth, um, can you uh, rotate this in a way that's going to give you a high high number? Oh, you're really, really hard to hear, Seth. Really hard to hear. How is that? Hello? We can hardly hear Hello? you. Can you hear me? Wait, can uh, you hear me now? Yeah, that, yeah, speak loudly. Go. Okay. Uh, I guess you could rotate it uh, one over uh, counterclockwise. One counterclockwise. Okay, done. Okay, and Seth, uh, tell me about, let me just copy this here. Okay, tell me about uh, zero times one. Uh, zero. Okay, one times minus two. Uh, negative two. Minus uh, two six. times minus three six. is plus six, yeah? Yeah, plus six. Yeah. And then plus 12. Plus 12. And then um, minus or, I, I mean, plus zero. Plus zero. zero. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, plus zero. Okay. And so that is eight, 16. 16. Oh, my goodness. Go. So, that is really hard. So Gabby, Gabby is sad. She's, she's just had a, a score of 16. So that's, um, that, that's a problem. Okay. Um, Taco Cat, you are desperate to get in here with uh, with an idea. So first of all, I'm going to deal with you, and then I'm going to come and Solly, you can present the the next idea. Um, Taco I haven't Cat, done anything. Okay, and Oscar, you are you are going to be in there as well. You're going to be the first person, Oscar, to deal with the six one. Okay, you're going to be presenting the negative and positive. So you can go off and work on that. Oscar, you're going to be presenting the negatives and positives for the six. Um, Taco Cat, uh, the most important thing that, that you have to do is choose a background color before we begin. Go ahead. Wait, don't you do your, yeah, that. Taco Cat. Okay. Choose the color. Um, hmm. I know. The world it's, it's, it's is in my hand. Choice. The world it's is in your color, hand. Any color. Oh, it looks like a little, it looks like, it looks like, a, yeah, that okay, one. We're going with a nice, bright, I know, vibrant. You light. I know. Okay. okay. And I'm coming um, back to here. And you, I think, were interested in getting rid of this minus. Yes, although on the other hand, uh, it could be flipped in such a way that we have the minuses times the minuses and all the pluses times the pluses, and that would be pretty high. Okay. So you, it is you, a tough You choice. get to choose. You get to choose. It's I was your, thinking, it's your choice. I was thinking that hmm, these numbers are too high. Um, these should change places. So this should be the minus three and this should be the two. Um, oh, you, no, you, you don't get to change the places of number, the, oh, no. the numbers. The only thing you get to change is plus or minus going around. Thank yeah. You. Okay, so you want to have it like that, minus, minus, and then plus here. 
Uh, no, that did we didn't do that at the start. Was that? No, we didn't. Okay, got it. Okay. So it can't stay the same way as it is now, right? You have to rotate. It. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We have to go. Um, that's right. Okay. Because now, oh. if we rotate it, we can only have one minus times one minus. Yeah. So let, let's, so let's see how this, this time. Um, yeah. Um, Solly, do you want to try to get a high number um, with the tackle cat's idea? Tackle cat is trying to get a low number. You're trying to get a high number by rotating. Um, do I have to rotate it? Yes. You, the, the only one that you're not allowed ever is this, because this will always create the highest number, and it's a trivial high number. It's going to be 0 plus 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared. That's always going to be as high as you can possibly make it. That's not an interesting puzzle. Yeah, so you must rotate it. So let's put the 0 to the 1. Okay. But that is losing the minus four so let's bring the minus four let's let's see how it works okay so solly uh zero times minus four zero um zero times one zero one times minus two oh. minus two um three times minus two minus six uh, three times minus four. He is a bad man. Yeah. No, that's not good. Wait, my goal is. To Your goal is to get a high, high um, difference from zero. You want it either really negative or really positive. Negative twelve. Yeah. So that is. I have created a really low number, and my intention to create a. High yeah, no, that no, you, you want to create three. you want to create a number that is very different from zero. So you have done that. Your number is minus 20. And uh, so your score is 20, which is the highest score so far. So that's really bad for Taco Cat. Um, so we can we can I should have I should have done three and two. I should have uh, flipped the minuses back. Yeah, so so it's it, it, not a not a trivial problem. Not a trivial puzzle to try to try to find the best uh, for either of you guys to play. If uh, I got to flip it, though. Yeah. Um, so let's uh, let's go with uh, Super Kitty Cat. Oh no, no, that uh, I've already asked you, Avocado Queen. You changed your name. Yeah, um, I did change my name. <laughs> yes. Uh, Annika, would you like to have a go? Um, and then it's going to be Oscar's turn on the six. Didn't I already go? Sure. If, if you don't want to go, we can, we can wait. I could um, go. I could go. Okay. Okay. Go, 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 go. <laughs> so am I trying to create a high number or a low number? You're, you're trying to create a low number by changing these pluses and minuses going around. And do you, do you guys want me for this one? Like normally I don't give uh I don't give hints out and that, but I think it's, it's maybe interesting because I haven't gone far in this problem, but I have explored this one, just this one. And I can tell you that there is a way that you can number, choose pluses and minuses going around so that the other team can't even get a, a bigger number than four. Like it's, it's amazing to me, but yeah. So, so that, well, that, that must be a good solution if you know it. Yeah, no, that, yeah, that, that's a really good solution. Okay. Oh, um, okay. So first that of all, Annika, your most important decision is what color for the background? Um, I think the color should be... The pink, the pink on the second row. Oh, like that light no. pink? No. No? Not that one. Uh, oh, on the second row, that one. Yeah. Got it. Okay. A vibrant color once again. Um, 
Annika, you are choosing uh, any combination of pluses and minuses. So I far, know. we've tried we've tried the two and three to be negative. We've tried the two and four to be negative, and we've tried. Oh wait, what was it? Uh, no, we tried the two, three, and four to be negative, and we tried the two and four to be negative. So those are the ones that we've tried so far. Um, what would you like to try? I think remove the negative four and make a negative zero. Okay, so you just get to choose uh, um, the, the negative, you don't, uh, negative or positive, you don't get to change the number. Okay, who wants to try to beat this, um, Oscar? Why, why don't you why don't you try to beat this, um, um, Oscar first? And uh, because you you haven't tried anything, so you're trying to get a really really high number now by rotating. I'd like to turn it so that that the red negative two matches up with the blue one. The negative two matches up with the one. So that would be like that, correct? Yes, like that. Okay, so or zero actually, times... Yeah. Hmm? I want I'm negative two to match up with zero. Oh, I'm gonna change that to negative two matching up with zero. Okay. Or actually, I'll leave it. Yeah, actually leave it, okay. <laughs> okay, Oscar, zero times one is what? Zero. Uh, one minus times two. minus two. Minus two, minus yeah. six, plus 12. Okay. Plus zero is four. Is four. Yes. Um, uh, let's see. Um, Nathan, do you want to see if you can get uh, a higher number than four? Four is not exactly impressive. Well, actually, I think, uh, okay, so who made the negatives? Uh, this is Annika. Annika. Okay, so uh, yeah. Annika is actually, uh, you know how you're saying that there was a, a special way uh, to make this is that you could... Uh, you could get no, none above four. You think this and is it? I found that exact way. <laughs> okay, so you know what? Annika, you are right. You have found, I think this is the only way. Um, oh, the, the other way would be to, to do the opposite, to do zero, to, to do one, three, and four negatives and the two positive. But you find, I think, the only way other than that to, uh, to get the best score. And I don't think anyone can beat, uh, I don't think anyone can get higher than four. Yeah, I'm playing against this. I mean, like, I mean, like, we can try a, we can, we can try a different way if we rotate left one fifth of a turn again. Yeah, let, let's let's try it. So we're going to try it left once again. Um, go ahead, Nathan. Zero times minus two. That's zero. Zero. Uh, one times three. Three. Uh, four times minus, minus two. Eight. Minus eight. Yeah. Three times zero. zero. Uh, plus zero, yeah. And, and one four. times four? Four. And that is equal. Three minus eight plus four is equal to minus one. So you score one, which is terrible for trying to yeah. do that by number. I know. So, Annika, yeah. you are a champ. You are so a Annika, Annika has nailed it. Yeah, so yeah. This, this is... And you know what? What is so interesting is that um, Taco Cat, like that was my intuition as well that you want to have, at, at the very start, I was thinking, oh, you want to have probably about half the numbers negative, half the numbers positive. Um, but that doesn't work. That didn't all work. Zeros. All it, zeros would be great. Well, of course, all zeros, but you don't have that choice. You only have the choice of, plus, of, of a negative and a positive in front of each one of these numbers that's already given to you. And isn't it interesting that only a single negative there makes the best result? Like, it, it still is surprising to me. Okay, uh, let us jump here. 
Oscar, I promised you, you would have first dibs at trying to make this as small okay. as possible. Okay, I'll circle the ones that I want. Negative. And you know what? I am going to share this presentation with everybody. Um, so I'm just going to copy this link. I'm going to put it in the chat. Okay, and here we go. There we go. So again, you will not be able to copy this. You will not be able to write on this presentation. Instead, what you have to do is you have to go up here. You have to go to file, make a copy, entire presentation. That's why oh, you're gonna get a you copy do, of this. You can only do this if you have a Google account. Thank you, you're right. Okay, so we're making this a negative, Oscar. Yes, we're making the four a negative. Yeah, and we're making the five a negative. Okay, um, who would like to play against uh, Solly? You haven't uh, done one for a little while, okay. And uh, Seth, if you could be working on the, uh, this, this one here, we probably won't get to this today, to be honest, we probably won't. We're probably just gonna end off with the, this, uh, this one here. So uh, Solly, how would you like to rotate it to try to get the maximum number possible. And before you do that, uh, sorry, Oscar, you get the all important color choice and the color choice that Oscar chooses is this one. Got it. Okay. Again, the reason that we, we choose these different colors is that it makes it very easy to read the presentation afterwards is that we can see what everyone has done here and we can just jump from one idea to another really, really quickly. That's why I use these color, they, they actually have a function. It's not just to be silly. Um, it actually really has a function. And I use this whenever I'm designing puzzles myself, I actually use this exact same tool, color the entire background one color for a new idea. Okay, um, uh, go ahead, Sully. How, how would you like to rotate this? Well, am I big person or am I small person? Um, the rotator, the person rotating, is always trying to make big. The person choosing negative and positive across uh, is always trying to make small. So you're doing the rotating, Solly. You're trying to find the biggest possible way to uh, end up with these numbers. Oh, interesting. If you put the zero on the negative, no, zero on the one. Zero on the one? Yeah. Okay. So Solly, uh, let me just grab this here. Okay, and we have... Uh, I don't know why my video is not working. Oh, there. Yeah, it's working. Okay, uh, zero times minus five. Uh, yeah. Yeah, um, zero times minus five, so... Anything times zero is going to be zero. So we start off with zero. Um, Solly, zero times one. It's not zero. Uh, one times minus two. Uh, wait, one times minus two? Yeah. Is minus two? Yeah. Three times minus two. Is minus six? Yeah. Um, four times. Minus four times three, three times minus four. Wait, three times minus four? Yep. Nice. So that's just, you owe me four dollars three times. Oh, negative 12. Yep. And minus four times minus five, that's the same as uh, the, the negative times Plus negative. Plus 20. Positive. So and that makes a score of zero. You're joking me. Oh my goodness. Yes. Makes a score of zero. 
that is wow. really extremely low. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know that was possible. So that, that there's an entirely different puzzle for you guys. Is uh, can you always get a score of zero for some combination of positives and negatives? Uh, so that's an entirely different puzzle. I never thought of that one until now. So yeah. This would actually be a pretty good game to play with someone. But it, it wouldn't be a really fun game. It would be a, a mathy kind of game, and most people would run the other way <laughs> whenever you suggested, oh, let's play centrifuge. Ah! It's actually pretty pretty cool. <laughs> good. Okay. Um, so any any ideas how to um, maybe Gabby? Uh, any ideas, Gabby, about how to rotate this? So we tried rotating it like this um, with the zero going to the one. It's, first of all, it's really hard to figure out, right? Just by, by looking, you're kind of just guessing a little bit. Oh, is this going to be good? Is it not going to be good? Um, so did can, we do the zero at the minus five? Zero at the minus five? Done. Okay. Uh, and go ahead. Just let me grab this. Okay, so go ahead. Tell me uh, zero times one. Zero. One times minus two. Minus two. Minus two times three. Minus six. Uh, three times minus four. Minus 12. Minus four times minus five. 20. And, and that'll just give five. a zero like before. Ah! So uh, have we just stumbled on the best ever? Like, is this the best ever? Is, there, is this a coincidence that whenever you rotate it um, to the right one and you rotate it to the left one, is it a coincidence that these two both are the same here? Is that a coincidence? I think we should try some other. Or rotations and see yes, if they we, also we, get to zero. We, we, we should, but before that, I just wanna ask, is this a coincidence that rotating to the right one is results in the same as rotating it to the left one? Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. Yeah, so that, that's something for you guys to think about and what you have to think about really is, you know, if I could actually switch the, the colors of these two, instead of the outside one being red, I could make the inside one red. And then these kind of both look the same. The minus five is against the zero here. And um, the minus five is against the zero here. So there's something, something to be found there. And indeed, this is not a coincidence, guys. Rotating to the left is the same as rotating to the right. Wow. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you can, you'll have to convince yourself of that um, because we're very close to the end here. I'm going to have one last rotation. Otherwise, this is, we're, good, we're just going to, we're just going to have Oscar leaving here thinking he has found the zero solution. And that, that couldn't be good, right, Oscar? Uh, let's see. Um, Amelia, do you want to rotate to something other than one right or one left? Um, so we, we tried rotating at one right, we tried rotating at one left, both of those were terrible. You're trying to make a big number, not, not a zero. The zero is the last thing you want to make. Yeah, you want to- well, negative 20 is, not, is the last one you want to make. Your, yeah, your overall, yeah, your overall score, you want it to be as big as possible. You want to be as far away from zero as possible. Yeah. yeah. So go ahead, Amelia, How, where, where do you want me to rotate? Where do you want this zero to end up? Um, I 
Um, um, I want the negative five and the negative two. Um, so you, you want it, you want it over here like um, that? One more. One more. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Okay. So you guys have to become expert at reading numbers upside down. That's one of the joys of this puzzle. Um, go ahead and uh, um, Amelia, tell me about zero times three. What's that? Uh, zero. Yes. And one times minus four? Minus four. Yep, that's right. Minus two times minus five. That's ah, the same as just no, plus 10. Plus 10. It's plus 10, right? The minus times a minus. Uh, three times zero? Zero. Yep. Minus four times one, or one times minus four, same thing. Mm -hmm. Minus four. Yeah, minus four. And minus two times minus five again. 10. 10 again, yeah, yeah. So that would be 12. That is minus four plus ten is six, and then we have it again. They, I guess they won't be able. Here. They wouldn't. They couldn't see me on camera because I have the background. There we go. That's twelve. Wow. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's a good place to end, just so that um, Oscar didn't leave thinking, "Wow, I got all zeros. So yeah, there's one one bad one there at least. Uh, good. I will. See you guys on Monday for another puzzle uh -huh. time with math and math pickle. Uh -huh. And that is uh, it. Bye. For Thanks for coming. Bye. The adults can stay around if uh, if they would like. Uh, yeah. <laughs>that that was that a new puzzle Gordon? no you said it wasn't that was one oh, that no, this, this one's quite old i it's not i i don't think it's one of the best ones but it's it's uh it's a it is a way to introduce kids to multiplying negative numbers um i i love to plunge into even to introduce multiplying negative numbers i i have no problem introducing it in an extremely complex puzzle like this uh, mm -hmm. the, the secret for me is engagement, not simplicity. And this is kind of interesting. Uh, even for top kids, this is not an easy puzzle to just rotate um, and to be sure that you've got the best. It's not an easy puzzle to put in negatives. Mathematicians wouldn't find this puzzle, I think, terribly attractive. Um, so I, I'm under no illusions that this is a great puzzle. It has a pedagogic purpose. It, um, uh, I don't know what, what you would, if you would agree with that, Gabriella, but there's a number of things that I don't think that this puzzle would be appealing to mathematicians. Yeah. Ah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I do it. I just. Why? Like, why? Like, what's your, or Gabriella, what's your thinking on it? Like, what makes it appealing to mathematicians? No, I don't know. Yesterday's one is very, very appealing, I think. Mm. Yeah. There's a purity about yesterday's. And um, mm -hmm. this one, I, I force zero, one, two, three, four around the outside. It's not a structure that, um, I, I, like I think mathematicians would be more interested if I allowed total freedom to choose any integer that you want um, and then to try to minimize it. I think in that case, and maybe all of the integers have to be different, um, that there is a, a problem where around the, the outside, you have only plus ones and minus ones. And that's also of interest to mathematicians. There's a purity there. You rotate it and you're trying to, to uh, get um, a, the sum of all of these products to be plus or minus one or, or within, within one of zero. And there's a purity there. This, this one doesn't attract me as a mathematician. 
but it has a pedagogic purpose. If I was to tell kids you can choose any number, it just gets, there's just too much freedom. Yeah. You only yeah. get to choose the sign and pedagogically that's good. Okay. Thanks. I believe you said that yesterday's problem was the one we did at the incubator today. Yeah, that's right. And so yeah. that one was really nice because there was loads of questions you could ask about it where it seemed like you could just spend weeks, if not years, thinking about different questions, which that seems really nice, how much you can ask from that one problem. Whereas this one, it's like, there's only okay, so many let, numbers let me, you can turn. Now let me, let me forget about this problem, but change it a little bit. I want to end up with a zero. You have to put in all different integers um, and then you have to rotate it to some, some degree and you have to end up off with zero. Uh, of course, that's not gonna be too hard, but let's say they have to be consecutive integers then. Let's say they, they uh, and you can order them any way you want. Or So there's a way to build in constraints so that it becomes just hard enough that it's possible. So, um, you know, consecutive integers starting at zero or starting at one, and you can place them anywhere, or they have to be placed around the circle. Uh, anyway, I, I, I think it might be, might be somewhat interesting. I feel like it gets into like a somewhere of a niche in algebra or number theory, but like more of an algebraic one. Certainly the, the only choosing ones and minus ones, maybe that's where I should stop. That, that is certainly of interest to mathematicians. So that's where I should stop. Um, but pedagogically, that's not so great for kids. I, it, it's not as exciting to deal with plus ones and minus ones rather than minus four times plus five and you get 20 and then that's a disaster. That's more interesting for the kids. Mm -hmm. And I think it's interesting for them to think about these different purposes for the two players, that, that one player wants to make it small and the other wants to make it as large as possible. So that makes it interesting for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I guess I, you I could love... introduce, oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. I was just going to say you could introduce the idea of absolute value as well, because you're kind of looking at as big as small, like minus 12 or 12 being the same. So you're yeah. looking at its distance from zero. Yeah, you're right. The, 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 the score, your score here is the absolute value of yeah. the sum. Yeah, you're right. But yesterday's problem had a, had a I agree, had a different... So, yeah, I mean, I, as an, I'm not a mathematician, so I can't speak to what you're talking about, but it had a way of thinking about it when we were started to play with it symmetrically. How do you put the numbers in, in a way that has that line of symmetry? There were just other questions that, as you were saying, Danielle, you can begin to ask about it. But I find it interesting what you're both saying, Gabrielle and Gordon, about the constraints, like you putting in these constraints allows for the freedom to explore it differently with today's problem, like you said, maybe just constraining it to minus ones and ones to get zero or any integer to get zero, putting those kinds of constraints on it makes it a more interesting problem that I find interesting. So I, I'm finding it's interesting to hear what you are, how you're defining what makes an interesting problem for you. So, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I would rate this pretty low on my, um, uh, on pro problems that I would be interested in as a mathematician. So the only reason I bring this one to um, Mo Math is because pedagogically it has its purpose. And many of these kids, this was the first time they had tried multiplying negative numbers. So that's mm -hmm. a good excuse. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know if they were convinced about the negative times the negative. <laughs> yeah, so you can. So was... Obviously you can prove that. It's, it's always a, a conflict in my mind do I want to rigorously explain 
why that's true? Or do I want to just carry on with the puzzle and get them engaged in doing it, but not explain the, the proof behind it? This is a constant struggle for me. Uh, this is a perfect example of where I do not know. I, I go back and forth. That, like the proofs, I think proofs are really vital in mathematics. And the proof that a negative times a negative equals a positive, that, that's a proof that the kids really, they, they should see that. And they should see it pretty early on, I think. Uh, I, I agree. I think like proofs aren't shown really heavily until like you get to like university in your undergrad classes. And once you're that, to that point, it's really hard to grasp proofs because you've been working so much on like messing around with numbers, like trial and error, like if it looks good, it's good. Whereas then you get to proofs where you have to show why stuff is and you haven't had very many years to develop it. Whereas in English class, you've probably been writing essays since like fourth or fifth grade. So it's something that I feel like it would be really beneficial to for like middle schoolers and high schoolers to work on some form of proof writing. Mm -hmm. It's also a question of when to introduce that proof. Do you introduce mm -hmm. it at the very start of a child learning to multiply minus four times minus five? Or do you introduce it after a puzzle like this where they've had some experience that I've just told them minus four times minus five is equal to 20. And they just take my word for it for a day or for a week. And I'm, I'm unconvinced. I don't know which way to go, but I can argue both ways. I, I think it would be good to give them a puzzle where they see a pattern and they have to prove whether that pattern is true or false. I think that would be the best way. And like the, Issue is just finding a good puzzle to give them. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the question around the pedagogy is interesting because it's do you stop the flow of what you're in in terms of the, the puzzle itself to do the sidebar on the proof, or do you just kind of keep going with it? Um, which I think would have that would have been that would have been strange to stop and give a little lesson on the proof of why this is the way it is. I mean, my negative times a negative is a positive, but it could be that a kid can come later and say, I don't get why that is the, is that, you know, or the question comes from them and they can begin to play with it rather than it always coming from the instructor or the teacher. So I think, I think it's, there's not one right way to do that. It mm -hmm. depends on the context, the situation and where you are in the middle of the, in the instructional moment, right? So. But it might be good for me it might be a good challenge for me to actually teach uh, that formal proof next uh, next week. It just, I might. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I never do that. I never. Like I'm, I'm always all all puzzles and lighthearted and that. Um, so maybe that would be a challenge for me if I've got time. It I'm would not, be. I'm not, I won't promise, but if I've got time, I will think about how I would present that. I would think like the like how the math log well, the videos that Steve suggests often, the math logger or however it's pronounced, how he does visual proofs, like something where it's like a visual based proof, I think would be the most useful for this age group. What I would like to do if I'm doing this is I'd like to review the operations that they have up till now. And are those operations commutative, associative, distributive? What, what do all of those mean? So it'd be quite a, quite a formal class. I don't know if it works in, in puzzle time. I don't know. I, I will not promise that that is coming up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> well, someone might ask, one of the kids might ask, you know, why is that? And then you can decide or if not you're going to do the sidebar. <laughs> Okay, that was a good, uh, another good one. So thank you very much for, for okay. thinking of these for us and offering them. So I'll see you on Monday. It's a, it's a joy. Take care. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>